game two of our T20 doubleheader, and we can only hope it's better than the first one. Daniel and Joey have a lot to prove after yesterday's poor showing, with sponsors threatening a boycott unless they learn to turn the strike. Alex is also in search of improvement, and we'll hope that facing Joey's Thunderbolt low full tosses last match keep him in good stead for a similar barrage this afternoon. Aiden is withdrawn from today's match after sustaining a severe case of general soreness in yesterday's game, and will serve as the match official. The wide zone has been shortened in hopes of generating more scoring, but if there's anyone who could have a sub-4 run rate in these conditions, it's the dot man himself, Daniel Martin, who bats first. Yeah, sorry, play. Upstairs, but I'm. Oh, I don't think that's. I don't think that's. that's, that's it. Good. Go upstairs. How's that? Yeah. That is out. I took something. And over. Yeah, out and over. I'm gonna to have to give a, a big, big fat noey, and that's also four. So free hit as well, I believe. Get on, Alex. Yeah, bowling. Yeah. Serves it up. Oh, Boris, where's the die? I think we should know by now, Alex, that Boris does not die <laughs> or move Alex. for that matter. Yeah, it's going to be four. Yeah, that will be gone. That off. Just over Boris's head. Oh! Oh no! I just didn't move. Runs away. Four runs, once again. Over the drive. Gotta be outside off. And that's 50 for Dan Four. Gotta be outside off. Oh, last ball, he's put it down. Stand like Joey 10, wicketless, once again. Wasn't even a full pace ball. It's been a solid effort from Daniel, who ran singles as if a Pakistan bookie paid him to do so. Joey has been stonewalled once again, and the odds of him pulling a Graham Swan and retiring mid-season are getting higher by the day. It's Alex up next, with a tricky run chase on the cards. Batsman, right arm over the wicket. I think you know him pretty well. <laughs> That. I th no, not out. Hit that too. No doubts that time. I'm gonna hit that one. Felt a bit better out of the hand. Oh, that's that lifted. That's Good just man. barely snipped it. Looked absolutely dead. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna see it. So I'm lucky with that bit. You can raise the ball if you like, Joey. Oh, and there it is. Second T20 hat trick. Congratulations, Joey. Oh, the double hat trick ball. He gives no fucks. <laughs> Do you see what the batsman's doing? Oh! 
<laughs> what has happened there? You thought it got in the window, didn't you? I thought it was in the window. Oh, oh, no! Well, I don't think anyone's happy except for Daniel with that one. Oh! oh everyone's up in the bat now. Oh, I got, I got really lucky. That is just tripled his average. Oh. 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 Well. Oh. That's a great. That's a great shot. That was gonna be wide, but you've done better. Oh no! Oh, what is he thinking? Shocking. Yeah. Crazy yeah. action, but works. It was a demolition job by Joey, who fell just four runs short of claiming the best figures in T20 history. He also claimed yet another hat trick in his career, and let me tell you, there is not a single person who was happy for him. The anti Joey coalition will be steaming tonight, and based on the bowling performances of Daniel and Alex so far, there are fears of a rare Joey victory today. The stars are aligned for Joey to finally claim the points, but if any man alive could choke this win away, it's him. Great call, Daniel. Right. Aged, aged very well. Fucking hell. I didn't see it at all. I'm coming around. Straight under the stumps. Four. Shots. There's no step here. Should have gone tape off. It's over. Yeah, I know. Some people just never learn. It's a cracking shot. Four more. Save him. And that's 50. Do you count out the four or six, eh? Four. Bounce, bounce well short. Yeah, that one went. Over. To the way. To the way. Four more. 103. How much did Daniel make again? 108. Oh, oh, no. oh, would you believe it? What's a ball? What's that out of? I'm devastated. Do you want to know what you made? 99. No. You made 96. That's two bats that I've got out of 96. Oh, Never I got Josh out of 96 yeah. too. That's, that's brilliant, brilliant innings, gotta say. That was a brilliant innings. Shit, absolutely shit house bowling. Yeah. But God, it was one of the best innings to watch. So, oh, that, that, that is a record score at least, Joey. So you got that much. Jeez, you'd hate to miss the ton and the bonus point. All in the same there was a time you could have got both. Oh, he's done it. On the last ball. I've got to say, that's probably the most dominant victory we've ever had. Credit where it's due, it was a stunning performance by Joey, the sort of effort we've been waiting five years to see. He was only four runs short of scoring just the third century in backyard history to pair with being four runs short of record bowling figures. Of course, since Joey only plays for individual milestones, this may as well be a loss for him. Daniel and Alex will need to take a good hard look at their bowling effort, as I'd bet even Stevie Wonder could score a gritty 20 odd against this attack. The result sees Joey Rice the second and Daniel Fall the third, while Alex may as well take up a new hobby because he's fallen out of contention for this year's title.